Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review on this little guy. So exciting. So I picked up the Lime Crime Prelude Chroma Palette in February. This was one of my February purchases and I've already filmed a February ranking video as well as ranking some of my latest palettes video for the month of February. So I will go ahead and try and remember to link those up in the cards for you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I film a lot of eyeshadow palette videos and you know I do a lot of first impression videos on my channel just because I love to bring you guys like new products because that's what I'm interested in. I think you guys will be very happy to know. Technically, yes, it's a new palette, but it is not my first time trying this palette out. I have been using this off camera, and you know, sometimes when new things come, I have to prioritize videos, and sometimes I push newer palettes to the front of my schedule just because, you know, I can maybe attract more audience to my channel if I upload something that's a newer product. So this one kind of fell in the back burner, but since this palette is going on sale today, on Ulta for the 21 Days of Beauty. I saw a lot of people were talking about this and was so excited because it's gonna be $19. And this is a relatively new release, so I think being able to pick it up at that price point is kind of awesome. I'm actually like low-key really jealous because I paid full price for this, which I don't mind, it's okay. I, you know, I'm not like, <laughs> not like salty about it, but I think if you guys can get it on a deal, why not tell you guys about it? So I'll go ahead and link it down in my description box if you guys want to go ahead and shop. And they are putting almost all of the Venus palettes on sale from Lime Crime. The only one I didn't see is the neon one because they already have the page made and I didn't see the neon but I saw all the others. So I may even pick up more. I don't know. I don't really need to like you know, I, I have this bad habit with clothing, especially where if I find something I really love, I buy it in like every color. And now I'm like, oh, I really like this, so maybe I should get the other colors. And I'm like, mm, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> So we'll see. I have um, been picking up a few things here and there. I don't really feel that interested to shop right now because honestly, I feel like I've been so busy. Like my life hasn't slowed down. You know all those like memes you see about like, oh, quarantine and like I'm chilling on the couch and catch catching up on Netflix and doing all these things I wanted to do. I haven't had that time yet. So, you know, I was going to say fingers crossed, but not really. This is a terrible time in everyone's life. So I'd rather be busy and working. So I'm really grateful to be able to do that. So don't get me wrong on that. But God, I just went on a tangent. I'm sorry. So anyway, palette's going on sale. I love it so much. I will swatch this for you really quick here because I did film this look. I am wearing this palette on my eyes today. So I do want to show you guys a little demo, but let's give you guys some quick swatches. I think I swatched this in... I don't know if I swatched it in my February haul or something, but you guys like went nuts for the shade um, Seafoam because it's just like such a beautiful seafoam color. I mean, genuinely, these are really nice. The metallics are creamy. I am very happy with what Lime Crime did with this palette. So it's a very iridescent color, but I'm wearing it on my inner corners and I really, really, really like how it shows up on my inner corner. So here are the first four shades. And let me tell you the names. I have Nymph, I have Eros, Seafoam, and Triumph. And Triumph's like a beautiful, creamy, golden cream shade. <laughs> okay, and then here are the shades from the next row. I have Cypress, Saturn, Olympia, and Genesis. And I'm wearing these two mattes in my crease and then this shade on my lid. So there they are. Okay, so the bottom row, obviously it's not swatching like the most pigmented, but honestly these mattes, they kind of have a drier consistency, a little bit like the Melt formula, but they blend beautifully and I love that. They really blend well and you can really like intensify them by like continually blending um, and packing shadows on, which is great. And then the shimmers, I didn't even have to wet my brush. I put the shade Saturn on on a dry brush. I just used this one so you guys will see that in the demo video. Other than that, I really don't have much else to say. I really like this palette. I would definitely recommend it if you guys want to pick it up. If you've been eyeing it, I think it's definitely tan girl friendly. I bet it could be a little bit thinner 
you know, profile wise, it is quite a hefty size. But other than that, I really have no complaints. I'm very impressed with Lime Crime and this particular palette. I know they've come out with quite a few Venus palettes like this in the past, and I haven't really been interested in any of them. So this was a welcome change for me and definitely something that reignited my interest in Lime Crime. So I'm hoping they do more fun stuff like this in the future. And now I will go ahead and hop in to a demo of this look. Okay guys, so I'm filming the demo portion of this video. I'm going to use my Jared Cosmetics canvas. What is this called? The clean canvas in the shade medium. And I usually use a P. Louise base, but this actually worked pretty well on me. I used it with the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. And then for convenience, I keep reaching for the P. Louise, but there's no reason I can't switch things up and do things differently on my channel so that's what I'm doing it is Saturday afternoon when I'm filming this the whole world pretty much has been in quarantine it too shall not be named and so I thought I should take advantage of my Saturday and film a demo of this palette because when you guys are watching this video on the 24th of March this palette is actually on sale on Alta's website so since I haven't featured this on my channel yet I thought I should film a look with this in case you guys are wondering about it and want to pick it up and it's like half off so that's really a good deal I kind of wish sometimes that I'd wait a little so I could also catch things on sale like this but honestly this palette is so new I didn't even think I'd be able to get it on an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty um, but there is another like a neutral palette that came out with this one and I'm like should I get it like you know it's not really like I like neutral palettes but it's like very muted neutral palettes I'm like eh, I probably don't need it but then I'm like should I get any of the other Venus palettes like you know so here I am just thinking about stuff like that when I probably should be saving but a lot of you had requested I think from a lot of youtubers that um people bring back like older palettes and stuff like that because you know people don't really want to spend too much money these days which is totally valid um hopefully you guys don't mind me featuring this one because I've had it since February and you guys haven't seen it on my channel yet so of course I wanted to you know show you guys this palette plus it's on sale so if you guys are still shopping I know it's always nice to score something on a deal so I think I'm gonna do a look I've already done with this palette but I haven't really shown it on my YouTube channel. Um, I feel like this purple and this green are like the two main like mattes in this palette. So I feel like you can use them interchangeably. And then typically I would go in with this shade or this gold on my lid. And this is just like the most beautiful like inner corner highlight. So let's go with purple on the inside of the crease I think today. I don't know. <laughs> I think you can also do like at least like one or two neutral looks with this palette. So yeah, it's kind of a fun palette. I haven't owned a Lime Crime palette in a long time. Bought the original Venus palette back in the day when it launched. Not even when it launched. I bought it on Holt Look when Lime Crime was on Holt Look one time, which I haven't really bought anything from Holt Look or looked at Holt Look in a long time. So I'm sure maybe they even still come on there and I just don't know so um yeah but this Ulta sale is a really good price um for any palette I think when you can score it for 20 bucks that's kind of awesome these are almost $40 they're 39 I think full price so yeah this brush I'm using is a Morphe brush Ooh. and it's so like the bristles are really not itchy what's the word rough I can like feel them it's like little nails <laughs> just like scratching in my eyeball <laughs> anyway
Wow, I love how like deep and purple that shade is. Okay, so I'm gonna stick to the same brush and go into the green shade called Genesis. It's like a green teal color. I'm gonna stick that on the outer half. Kinda just like divided my crease into two halves and I wanted to use both shades so if I had used Genesis in the inner corner, I think you'd see more of it, but it's just, I don't know, I kind of like incorporating as many shades from a palette as I can. Usually I try to keep things simple, just because, like, I'm no makeup aficionado, but I think two mattes in the crease is doable. It is nice if you can make them pop, so as you can see on this side, it's really popping, so I just need to build it up more on this section. Okay, I really like how that green is appearing. So I'm going back into the purple just to deepen it up a little bit more. I could use a nicer brush to do this and I think I'd get the purple to stand out more. So maybe I should take some of my own advice and grabbing a Sigma brush, going back into Cypress. So now I'm gonna grab a flat brush. This is an AOA Studio. E131 brush. I got it in the $10 brush set. And I'm gonna go into this beautiful shade called Saturn, which I don't think I need to wet, but let's try it without a wet brush first. Oh my god, look at how pretty that color is. It's so funny because I'm like thinking so spring now. But in February when I bought this palette, I was like so into the grungy tones. Same with like that Makeup Geek palette I bought. It's called like Fantasy something. And it has like all these grungy tones. And I'm like, give me all the grunge. And now it's like, spring, spring, spring. Give me all the pastels. It's kind of funny. This was a quad. I think it's so pretty. Because it's such a good like color story. It's so like grungy, but beautiful. I feel like a fairy. And like, once I do the rest of my makeup, it's really gonna pop the eyes. So I think it's gonna look really cute. So that is the look. I'm gonna do my face off of camera and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I did put my Samantha March products on basically. So I am wearing her bronzer, her blush, and her liquid lipstick from her new collab with Ofra. Those products were all sent over to me in PR. If you haven't seen the video where I played with all her new products, I will go ahead and link that up in the cards for you guys to check out. I know her products are available on Ofra as well well as Alta. So just wanted to throw in that little plug for my friend. If you guys are able to check out her products and share, I am so excited for that collab. And it's so nice that her bronzer and blush work with my skin tone because obviously I'm a little bit darker than her. So that's fantastic. And yeah, congrats on that again. And as far as the palette goes, I did go ahead and throw sea foam in my brow bone as well as my inner corner. And then I took the shade Cypress on a little dome brush and also smoked out my lower lash line and just threw mascara on and stuff like that. I know on YouTube right now, People don't really want to see a whole lot of new makeup. They kind of want to like stick to the collection they have, which I totally understand. This is not a first impressions video for me, which is kind of rare on my channel. I will be the first to admit, but I have been using this palette off camera since it arrived. I was so excited for this color story. I actually bought it on Lime Crime's website. I haven't ever bought anything from Lime Crimes website, so that's how much I was drawn to this color story. And I think if this is something that interests you, you know, today is the perfect day to pick it up from Ulta, so that's why I really, really wanted to film this. I prioritized filming a look with this palette just in case um, you guys were curious about this and wanted to get a good deal on it, because why pay full price when you don't have to? That's like my whole thing so anyway i really enjoy it i you know i have a lot of bigger palettes i don't really have a lot of palettes with smaller color stories typically my palettes are like 12 to 15 shadows so for me to be able to go back to a palette like this and 
really enjoy recreating looks from it is a huge deal. I think you can do so many different combos. Like, it doesn't really hit you right away, but the longer I look at this palette, I'm like, ooh, that would be beautiful on the lid. That would be beautiful on the lid. Like, it's all really just fun, and I love the packaging and stuff like that on this palette as well. I think it's very... I don't know, it's just a little bit different. You know, if you buy a lot of Lime Crime, obviously it's very similar to all the other packaging they do, but for me this is very different from a lot of the colorful packaging I have. I like how like muted and it just looks like very vintage. I don't know. I really really love it. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video let you guys know it's on sale. I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description box in case you guys want to directly shop from this video. And that's it. That's it. Let me know if you guys have any requests for videos. I know a lot of YouTubers have more time now because maybe they're working from home or they're self-quarantining. As of now, I'm still working full time, so I'm not making any changes to my schedule. I will be uploading every other day, so you'll see another video go up on the 26th, 28th, so on and so forth for me. I just don't want to overwhelm myself and try to do more than what I can. And what else? Oh yeah, and then it's just really going to be makeup. I'm not really going to change what my channel focus is because this has always been my escape and my hobby. So I'm going to keep doing the same thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are all staying safe. And just know that I'm thinking about you guys and, you know, hoping and wishing that all of this gets resolved and um, everyone stays safe. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.